Hello, thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about Huda Sha'arawi, who is a very important voice in the political feminist movement in Egypt. Fact number one, in the late 19th century, many Egyptian women were still forced to live under the harem system, which meant that they were confined to one house and were forced to only interact with the men who were either their husband or their close uh, male relatives. Huda, whose father was the first president of the Egyptian Representative Council, was born into this harem system in 1879. Because of her family, she was well educated and she learned French, Turkish, and Arabic. Fact number two, Huda was forced to marry her cousin, Ali Pasha Sha'arawi, at the age of 13. Now, under this marriage contract, Ali had agreed that he would stop sleeping with his slave concubine. Now, when this slave concubine actually bore him a child, this uh, negated the marriage contract, and um, Huda decided that she wanted to step away from her marriage for seven years and have a little bit of a break. Now this seven years allowed her to really focus on her education and she really became interested in political activism during this time. Her husband, uh, who she continued to stay married to after that seven year break, um, Ollie was also very interested in political um, activism and went to a lot of meetings and he would actually invite her so they became a really good team actually after the seven year break. Now during the seven year break, Huda took the opportunity to really further her education and focus on political activism. Now, as she grew older, Ali, who was also a political activist himself, actually included her in meetings that he would run and often sought her advice on political activism. Fact number three, Huda fought the restrictions against women being forced to stay in their homes and started organizing lectures to encourage women to come out of their homes and really engage in a group setting. In 1910, she opened a school for girls, which really focused on educating women instead of focusing on practical skills like cooking and cleaning and other things around the home. Huda also organized wealthy women to create a women's welfare society to help the poor women of Egypt. Fact number four, after World War I, Huda led a large women demonstration against British rule. In 1919, she actually led the largest women's demonstration, and when the British uh, asked this group to disband, the women protested by standing still in the hot sun for three hours and refusing to leave the area. Fact number five, when her husband died in 1923, Huda decided to publicly remove her veil on a train platform. The crowd around her was completely shocked, and then they applauded and cheered as other women around her also removed their hijabs. Decades later, in the 1930s, women very rarely actually wore hijabs, although that has changed a lot today. This same year, Huda founded the Egyptian Feminist Union, in which she would use this group to represent Egyptian women at women's conferences around the world. Now this group blended Western ideals along with her own Egyptian customs and really fought for peace um, around the world. In 1945, she actually founded the Arab Feminist Union and she remained on the board of that union as well as the president of the Egyptian Feminist Union until her death two years later in 1947. Thank you so much for joining me for another Woman Crush Wednesday, where we talked all about Huda and her impact on the Egyptian feminist movement, as well as the broader feminist movement around the world.